everyone happy wednesday i'm warning you all before i even start this video first of all i'm not wearing any makeup except for a lip color right now because today was a hugely busy day i got up late in the morning and i didn't have time to do any makeup or anything and then i had a ton of errands to do outside of school so i've been running around like crazy today but i did promise a wednesday video so i wanted to make sure make sure that i got the chance to film it and get it up today so today i'm going to be doing a fall haul a lot of this is back to school clothes and fall clothes because i wanted to do both at the same time i wanted to get fall clothes that would be appropriate for back to school as well, and or I should say back to school clothes that are appropriate for fall as well. Um, so that is what I decided to do. So this is a huge collective haul. This is things I got over the summer, um, closer towards August. These are things that I got in September as well, and the latest thing that I got is actually today. Urban Outfitters is having 30% off in store and online so I decided to go and check it out in store today and I actually might be ordering some stuff online as well because the la I got a bunch of stuff from their sale that they did like this over the summer and now I'm doing it again and I'm probably going to order some stuff online too but but that's a whole other story. You guys are definitely going to be seeing some more hauls in the near future once I order some clothes online because I see... I've been seeing a ton of stuff that I've been loving and it's really hard for me to come across things that I love so before we get started with this haul I just would like to put it out there that I'm not trying to brag about any of the things that I have and everything that I got was purchased with my own money so there should be no comments like this was sponsored or gosh you spent all your money on clothes like no that's not what I do I have a job I do YouTube my dad gives us a certain amount of a, like an allowance type thing for back to school clothes and I didn't even use all of it so I just would like to put that out there and I I always, always, always shop on sale when I can. So let's get started with this haul. The first thing that I got are these amazing high-waisted shorts. They are denim and they're, I think they're black or like super dark blue. I got them for $7 because it was $9.99 and then plus that I got 30% off since they were on sale and a lot of their shorts are on sale right now guys. So if you're looking for high-waisted shorts, go to Urban because you're going to find so many that you're going to fall in love with and these are amazing. They're like a staple piece in everyone's wardrobe or at least at least in my wardrobe. I've been trying to find a lot of high-waisted shorts. I'm super obsessed with those right now and I want to find them. They're not too expensive like American Apparel although I am saving up for those because I think they're amazing. So if you could let me know in the comments down below what your favorite place to get high-waisted shorts are, that would really be appreciated. The next thing that I got at Urban Outfitters is this super cute skirt. I think it's so cute. It's this like acid wash skirt like this. It's like a skater skirt and it's acid wash and it has like these like, it has these drawstrings right here and the original price was $59 and then it was marked down to $29.99 and then it was marked down again to $19.99 so I got them for $13 which was, I thought it was pretty good since originally they were $60 and I got it for $13 and I think they're super cute and it's like very in right now, like this whole like acid wash 90s vibe. I'm, I'm digging it guys, I'm digging it. This is a jumpsuit and I love the material, it's so soft and I know I'm going to be layering this a lot in the spring. And this isn't really for fall but this was like more for spring and summer but it was such a good deal I couldn't pass it up. So this is by the brand Coincidence and Chance and this is a size small. It was originally $59 and then it was marked down to $29.99 and then it was marked down to $9.99 and again 30% off so I got it for $7 and it's just this, it's just this like bohemian like white jumpsuit, it's got large pockets and, and the pant leg flares out like this. And I'm going to show you these shoes in a second that I think are perfect to go with this as well. Like, I already planned these outfits in my head I guess but like I found like the perfect shoes to go with this to really like get that whole 70s feeling going. I'm really like, I'm so bipolar, I'm like either 70s or like 90s, it's like completely, it's like bohemian or edgy, that's just where I'm at right now and it's very conflicting, everything's, it's like a different thing every single day as you'll probably see in my back to school outfits of the week video which I will be getting up super soon, I think you I think you guys might see like two outfit of the week videos because I forgot to post one um, for my first week back which was last week and this is my second week and I've already started filming for that so on Friday you might get lucky and get two back to school outfit of the week videos so I guess we'll just kind of have to see what happens if not Friday then you'll see one like on Saturday first, so yeah. pair of shoes that I want to show you are these Oxfords which I showed you in my August favorites and 
I know I told you I would tell you guys what I what the deal I got on them was. I don't know the original price, but I got them for $10 at PacSun. They are the cutest Oxfords I've ever seen. They were super inexpensive and they were actually pretty comfortable. I mean, I didn't wear them with socks today, which I guess is kind of gross. Um, and they were okay. I think if I wore them with socks, they'd be a lot more comfortable than they were, but they were easy to walk around in. I was able to walk around all day in school. And if your PacSun carries these, I definitely recommend them. Next, I'm gonna show you the shoes that I was talking about earlier when I said, when I showed you guys the white jumpsuit. And these are the shoes. They're very 70s, you guys. They're like, I, I don't wanna say clogs, but I mean, they remind me of like Coachella and I don't know, the 70s, like they're suede and brown and I love them and I also got these for $10 and these are from Urban Outfitters and and the brand is Next, I have these sandals from Urban Outfitters, they're kind of like the gladiator style sandals, they've got, and they have like these two buckles on the side right here and then they go through this obviously and this, this is what they look like, I think they're so cute and they go with a lot of stuff that I have. Um, I wore them on like the second day of school and oh my god they were so comfortable and they're also by the brand Ecote. I guess I've really been liking that brand. And then the last pair of shoes that I have to show you guys are these like, I think they're called like Harouche sandals um, and that's I guess what they are essentially. Um, they're black and I got them from Urban Outfitters as well. Oh my goodness, these are from the brand Ecote as well, oh my god what's wrong with me. I guess I, like, honestly, like, three of the four shoes that I showed you guys are from this brand. That's crazy. I mean, I didn't even notice that before. I guess I like their shoes. They're super comfortable, again, like I said. Um, and I think, I mean, I'm just in love with this style of sandals. I know Steve Madden has, like, sandals that kind of look like this, but they're, like, jelly and they're, like, 60 bucks or something. But I really like these. I got them for $13 online, and they're perfect. The first thing, if not the only thing, that um, I got from Zara is this white chiffon top. It's, and it's got this gorgeous embroidery on it and then it kind of like cinches with like the drop waist area. And it's long sleeves and chiffon and billowy. And correct me if I'm wrong, but I thought that this shirt really reminded me of, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but that shirt, like this shirt right here, really reminds me of Kim Kardashian. I feel like she'd wear it with like leather leggings or something, so I'm kind of also on the hunt for leather leggings, but I'm still kind of on the fence about them also. But it really reminded me of her, and I got it because I love it so much, and I think it's going to be really pretty and comfortable for fall. And they, this shirt here was $25 and $80. Next I have these H&M shorts, which are super cute. I got them for the summertime, and I wore them a couple times. I got these actually to do a look for less with an outfit I saw Kourtney Kardashian wearing, and they literally look exactly like the shorts that she had. I'm super excited about these. I think they're so cute. They're like to die for. And I can't wait to wear these when the weather warms up as well, even though it's just fall. Um, but I got a lot of use out of these in the summertime. Next, from Urban Outfitters, I got these shorts, and they look huge, you guys. I know, they look like a giant diaper. They are crochet running shorts from Urban Outfitters, but I don't wear them to run, obviously. I um, style them a bit differently. And this pair of shorts was $10. I thought that was such a good deal at Urban Outfitters. I couldn't pass up the opportunity to buy these shorts because I thought they were really cute and I absolutely love them. I mean, worst comes to worst, I can always tailor them to fit my body and it has this drawstring so the waist part isn't an issue and like I said, I wear them high-waisted to make them work for my body. So I did end up getting a second thing from Zara and that is this sweater right here. It's just like a slouchy little sweater. I actually wore this with the crochet shorts to school um, last Friday. And what this is, a very unique sweater. It actually has like a bell sleeve here because it's like cut out on both sides. And there's like a little slit um, on the bottom of the sweater as well. And I love this sweater. It's so cozy and it was only $16, you guys. At Zara, that's such a good deal for a sweater. And I love the color for fall. It's just a really nice rust color. And I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of it for this fall. So it's a really practical buy for me. Um, and I know it's not everyone's style with like all the cutout sleeves and everything like that, but I thought it went really nicely with the shorts that I wore it with. And I'm kind of obsessed with like the whole 70s vibe and the bohemian vibe like I said. So that was a major part in me buying that sweater. Up next I have these leggings from Cotton On. This is, I went to Cotton On 
I think I went to Cotton On like yesterday and I bought these leggings because they were on sale for $7.50. They're just like a, almost like an acid wash type of like motorcycle cargo green type thing. Um, it's just like the army green and more of an acid wash type of texture. These are super comfortable you guys. I'm obsessed with these. They are definitely a good buy. They're very, very, like, not cheaply made. You can tell with the quality, they're going to last you a long time. And I only got them for $7.50, so I thought that was a really, really good deal. And they act more as, like, pants than they do as a legging, um, so I think that you should keep that in mind when you're buying them. But the elastic waist is so comfortable, it's like I never want to go back to jeans again. <laughs> Up next, I have this dress from Urban Outfitters. It's just a white drop waist dress with some lacy detailing on the top. This is definitely one of my favorite dresses. I know it's going to last me so long. I got it on sale when they were having 30% off over the summertime, so I got this. And this dress was $20.99, and I loved it so much, so I decided to invest in it. I mean, I know $20 isn't like a lot, a lot for a dress, but to me it was a little bit on the pricier side since I don't like spending too much money when I buy clothes since I am still growing and my weight fluctuates a lot so I don't like to buy too much of the same thing at once because I'm always changing sizes and things like that so I don't like to buy expensive clothes I like to buy cheaper clothes that I still really do love but that will like I'll also not feel bad when I have to replace them and things this like that. Next this next dress I didn't really get for um, a set purpose, I just kind of needed a plain black dress and that's exactly what this is, a plain black dress um, in case I needed, I mean I could definitely dress it up for a party or dress it down for school, I just thought it's a nice staple again to have, I'm really into buying just like staple pieces that I can center outfits around and layer with and things like that, so that was super important to me when I was going shopping these past few months and that dress was definitely a staple that I needed because I really don't have any just plain black dresses, no plain A-line dresses and things like that so it was really important to me that I got one because I feel like you can center so many different outfits around that you can layer it in so many different ways. Again, I'm really into the whole versatility thing so that was a really good deal for me. It's I actually haven't even worn it yet and this was this is $12.95, the tag is still on it because I haven't worn it yet, but um, it's definitely a good buy and I got it from H&M. I actually have another dress from H&M and you guys are going to be seeing a lot of these clothes in my back to school outfits of the week, my first week. And this is what it looks like, it's got these really pretty paisleys on it, I don't know if you guys can see that. And it, then in the back it just has a few buttons like down the back here. I decided I want to do a bunch of videos on like how to style one dress but like a bunch of different ways and things like that since I'm not sure if you guys can tell but I'm kind of really enjoying styling my clothes in a lot of different ways so that's an idea for a video and like for me because that's just something I feel like I'd want to do not only to help you guys but to help myself as well because I like challenging myself and trying to see how I can pair something differently and what I like and what I don't like and I'm still experimenting with my style as well so I hope that you guys find those types of videos helpful and you guys can look forward to some I'm almost videos. done I promise you guys it's not going to be too much longer <laughs> Um, the next thing that I bought are these pants from H&M. These were also $12.95 and I'm really into patterned pants and different colored pants. It's always been something that I've been interested in. So I just picked up these um, patterned pants. It's like blue and black geometric pattern and I thought it was really cute to wear and it, you could definitely style a bunch of like basics around it and things like that. I thought it would be nice for on a, on a day that's pretty chilly and I don't feel like, you know, trying to come up with a whole scheme or its whole outfit or something like that, I decided to pick up these pants so I could just pair it with like a black t-shirt or black chiffon shirt or something like that. Again from H&M, I got this skirt right here. I feel like a lot of people have this skirt actually. It's just got like a really tiny little pattern on it. It's a pretty little chiffon skater skirt and it was $15 on sale so I didn't think that was too bad because I really did love it and again, you can layer it a bunch of different ways for fall. Um, so the first thing that I got is just this plain and simple tank top, this like tank crop top type thing and I feel like this is so cute for a bunch of different things. You can wear it so many different ways and it doesn't show too much of the skin when you put it on and things like that. So I got one of those. This was $9. In the, 
in the back of the Brandy Melville store there was like a bunch of buckets of just stuff and inside those buckets you could take 15% off whatever had the final sale sticker on it so I found the Luma skirt which is this black skirt right here and it's originally $22 and I think I got it for like 18 or something something along those lines right, the last item of this haul I picked this up yesterday because you guys know I've been loving high-waisted shorts so I picked up these maroon high-waisted shorts at least they look high-waisted to me um, these are from these are from H&M and they were $10. I didn't think that was too bad at all for high-waisted shorts and I think it's super cute. I can wear it a bunch of different ways. So I really love this color for fall. I'm Actually, I bought my burgundy pants from um, H&M last year too. So as you guys can tell, I haven't really gone in my burgundy phase at all. Um, but I really, really love these shorts. I just picked them up yesterday. I haven't gotten a chance to try them on, so I don't know if they're going to fit. I might have to return them or something. But just looking at them, I was like, this is a good deal. I really like these. So I really do hope that they fit. Um, I'm going to definitely try and make them fit. Um, or t tailor them in some sort of way that would fit my body type. So I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. Again, I'm not trying to show off in any sort of way. I just decided I would show you guys some of the things that I've been purchasing for fall, some of my favorite staple items, and um, things that I thought you guys might enjoy like looking at or getting ideas from and things like that. If you have any requests or any comments, go ahead and if you guys have any requests of things you want to see tried on in this haul that you saw or any videos for fall, go ahead and leave a comment down below and I will make sure I go through all of them. Thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button to see Friday's video. Thanks so much for watching and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!